is Emery from Plants It Naturally. Today I'm going to show you what to expect when you buy one of our sunflower cuttings. So when you buy our package, it usually comes in our USPS padded envelope and then you will see this package inside. So we usually put them in a plastic and then we wrap them around. The bottom part will be the one that has a wet paper towels in it. And as you can see clearly from the packaging, there's like white patches forming in the cuttings and they are moist inside because we closed the, the plastic in order to create some moist inside so they will not dry out. So when you take them out, <laughs> I actually already take one out so I will not waste this one. So it's already here. You're just going to prepare some, some water. So prepare some water in the cups. And as you can see, these um, white patches around the cuttings is normal and it is better and it's needed to be so that the roots can come out and the new uh, shoots or whatever is that how do you call this branch or leaves i think it's going to be a branch or leaves so um they will come out from out of that white patches as you can see this one here yeah so they're already forming so we do that process so that they can start um, in advance and also so that the cuttings will not dry out so as you can see some more here this is like the older cuttings they already have some leaves and some of them didn't have any so some of cuttings were gonna take a while before they're gonna bud out or shoot out some branches or leaves and before they can form some um, uh, roots so the one that has some leaves already this will be the one that's gonna have some roots immediately so here you can so now as you can see these cuttings are all soaked in water and they can sit here for one to two days before you can transplant them in a small pot i highly recommend to first um, uh, plant them in a small cups or your pots that you have and not in the full sun maybe in the side of the house or anything that's shaded until they form their roots and they're ready to be transplanted in your garden or in your food forest or wherever you want them to be so that they have more chance of survival because just like in, Flo in south florida where i am in it's so hot and humid if i plant these cuttings directly to the soil even how good the soil is is it's still gonna die because it's just gonna take the heat and it will take um it will dry out the cuttings and that will cause them to die so what i usually do is i put them in the small cups like a starter cup or anything any used pots that you have and place them somewhere in the shaded area it's probably gonna take about 15 to 20 days before the roots are really properly formed and it's good good to go for transplanting and I'll show you in the next video on how I plant them in the small cups. See you. Bye.